Well, hi there. Got a box. Whoop. Let's see if I can take these out in order. Okay. Super Mario Brothers. There's three pins. 25 each, so this is an expensive set. Oh, it's got Ward on it on the back. It's got a bunch of different graphics all over it. I think none of these have appeared anywhere. I have a a pin of a mushroom and a pin of this Mario, but never the graphic, the logo. This is all brand new. Interestingly enough, Penny Arcade, which is from Penny Arcade, um, have come out with a leaf pin before, um, but not this one. But there's lots of these kinds of pins. So the logo pin is really the new one here. And I'm looking at the difference between, well, maybe I'll do that in a separate video or just do it at the end, because they have a leaf pin from their previous Mario 3 set. So I'll be looking at that maybe later for a com quick comparison. All right, where are you? I saw you. Super Mario World. Now with this one, Yoshi Egg is new. I don't have a Yoshi egg pin. I have a Mario on Yoshi pin. And of course, the logo's new. And really, just to have the set is great. And I know they're different than the pins I already have. So, still expensive. I'll admit, it's expensive. Star. I don't have a star in that kind of art. But it's pretty generic. And that great Mario 64 retrofitted art. And then the logo. I know there's a logo pin out there, actually. But it doesn't look like this. Not as heavy, not as thick. But it is an enamel pin. Okay, who's next? Uh, all brand spanking new. You got your shine sprite and the retrofitted art and the logo. And the logo's brilliant. I love that logo. For Super Mario Sunshine. Who would be up next? We left the GameCube era and are now going to Wii is Galaxy. Um, that's all brand new too, I think. I don't think there was a Galaxy pin with the logo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Then we have Wii U, New Super Mario Brothers U. That's all brand new with the Acorn. Pretty similar Mario on Yoshi, but that's fine. Cancer and reproductive harm? What in the world's that about? What if you eat the pin? I don't know. Nearing the end, also on Wii U, we got Super Mario 3D World pretty important today. I got these on the release day of the of the new game with Bowser's Fury on Switch. And then we have the last one, Super Mario Odyssey, all brand new, of course. There was a Super Mario Odyssey logo pin, but it's much smaller. So now I will gather the comparison uh, ones and show you those. Alrighty. So let's do Mario Odyssey first. So here's the pin from the I think it was like E3 launch or something. Some event, so it's a promo pin. Um this one's thinner, 
and I can't really see the back because I'm going to leave them sealed. There you go. Okay, and then, oh, let me just fix that. So with the Super Mario Brothers 3 pin, you have this pin. It says Pro Badge Warden slash NL. And then you have this one with the brick pattern on the back. Obviously much thinner. This was more from the like Ace Novelty ones. But it's not from that set. It's like a later release. So definitely this one's much better. These are extremely nice pins. Think like Disney pins. But I am kind of disappointed that this leaf pin from their blind box set is exactly the same as the one they're using here. Um, I'd almost have to open it to find out. I think I'll open it because now I want to know just how just how similar it is. If it uses the 2017 backing, this can just go right back in and we're done here. So the back has these little penny arcade tops and that's like from the merch character. If you're familiar with the penny arcade comic. So let's see where we are at here. It does use a different backing. Okay. So here's the two pins. This one's slightly larger, I guess. If you care about that sort of thing. Uh, and this one, it'll be really hard to tell. This one says 2017. And this one says 2021. And it has a Nintendo logo on it. This one says 19 of 20. So yeah, there's 20 other pins. I think I did a video on that whole Super Mario Brothers 3 set. And then this one just has the Nintendo logo. Hopefully you can see that. It's really kind of hard to see. Okay, now I have to put the right one back on the card. Yeah, so it is a different pin. Um, it's like a, a weird variant, which you can't tell from the front, so. Am I happy about that? I guess, I mean, hmm. Collectors do care about that stuff, variants and whatnot, and it's nicer to have the whole set. There you go. Those are the comparisons. Hey, thanks for watching. Hi there. So I figured this would be kind of the perfect video to do after the set I just did, because I got these pin sets. So I wanted to take a look at these. And the sticker just says Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Pin Set Number 1. <clears throat> for promotional use only, not for individual resale. Well, eBay says otherwise. That's where I got this set, because the first release was an absolute disaster. And the second release was an absolute disaster as well. But I managed to get them this time. This just says the same thing, number two. And there's a sticker on both sides for whatever reason. So let's take a look at the pins. You've probably seen these on eBay. Or all over the internet. I'm going to leave this open. Oh, my box got dinged a little bit. Hate that. So, this last pin here is just massive. <clears throat> Excuse me. The rest of the pins are kind of in line with each other. 
in scale. Um, and then the 35th pin just, wow, blows it out of the water. I'm kind of interested to wonder. So according to the back, there are only two actual pin parts um, holding this whole thing. So if you were to actually post it somewhere, besides to keep it in the tray, you only get two. I'd, I'd assume three to the size. That's the biggest pin I think I own now. <clears throat> Excuse me. The 30th pin wasn't that big. I thought that one was big. Uh -oh. So the purpose of this next part is to look at the pins that you can buy. Oh boy, things are falling now. Um, and to see if they're the same. Let's see. So these are the, let's just set that over here. Let's see, it has Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, World, uh, Mario 2, and Wing Cap. So let's look at the Super Mario Brothers 3 and the Penny Arcade Super Mario Brothers 3. Do you see? They're a little bit different. Just a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of here to get a good comparison so let's see that's pretty close but they're they're definitely different um, it's like they're the exact same size but one how do I describe how they're different the outline is shinier on the Nintendo 35th anniversary version versus the Penny Arcade version. This has a more silver look to it on the outline, whereas this is definitely black. It looks more... Boy, it's... I don't have the proper terminology to describe this, but the the Nintendo version has kind of an embossed look. I don't know if you can see that. This one would probably feel, well, you can feel a little detail on there too. It's not a matte pin. It's not a, a flat pin. Neither one are, but one definitely has more of a pronounced embossment I guess you could say oh that is tough that's tough just the way the light hits it to me it looks it looks different but it's subtle Let's see what you guys think um, so they're the same size I mean, identical, I think. Um, but yeah, not the same pin. It's just the same, same style, I guess. Just two different companies made it. Because this is Penny Arcade Inc. made in China. And this probably won't tell you. Let's see what the little... <clears throat> Well, made in China, of course. This says 2021 Nintendo, and these say 2020 Nintendo. But yeah, I mean, not that big of a diff. All right, get off of there. Let's put my Mario 3 one back.
they're great pins that is one thing I will say both sets are really good um, okay so the other set are they all the same poses well yes they are so I guess we could run it down let's see Mario Galaxy is the same pose and I, I think that's just you know the design of how they're doing the 35th anniversary is they're pulling this old art for all the games and they've done that before like the Nintendo Tokyo store That was new Super Mario Brothers U, so this is going to be Galaxies, Galaxies the same. Red World, looking for Sunshine. Sunshine has the same one too. Of course. And then 3D World. Has the same one too. Oh. Now I can't show you because I threw it on the ground. Other fingers. So yeah, they're all the same. Man, I can't hold these for some reason. As to which one seems more quality, what which one is higher quality? I, I don't see a difference there's a difference but in quality wise I don't know maybe these are just a little a, maybe a slightly higher quality just because of that really tight embossment and, and the darker feel I'm not getting I wonder if I'm just getting like a weird it's not just the lighting it's it's definitely something it's hard to describe it's like the outline is is harsher it's got a bigger contrast whereas the penny arcade ones are you can see the metal i don't know if that makes sense but that does kind of knock these down a tick these are 25 each um and you can get these if you were good enough you could get them you could get both of the nintendo sets for free and you have this bonus pin but you don't get any of the logos or the super bells like as previously in the other video some of these other pins are, are uh, available in other sets like the super mario brothers 3 blind box set that penny arcade had before all this um like i said the leaf pin they're they're basically the same it's practically negligible which one is which one is which but like if you were to take one out of the packaging take the other one out of the packaging and put them both side by side like i tried to do just now with the super mario Bros. 3 pin so these ones let's see we got it's the same for all of them so i don't think we have to really go through every one of them but it is interesting to do a comparison a free set versus a very not free set pretty expensive I covered that in the other one um, and the presentation I mean these are nice but they're hard to display there's no way to like hang them without damaging them you could you could hang them through the plastic I guess um, but there's nothing on the card to hang it from if you wanted to hang it because um, how else do you display this do you remove them from the card and put them on something like a cork board or I mean to me this whole thing is the actual thing I bought I'm not discarding the card because you know because without this it'd just be a little bit less special the presentations there with the 35th and everything it doesn't have that anywhere else on the pin I don't think Whereas this, I mean, the felt back and the nice case that got dinged, sure. And the, you know, the big red box and it's kind of iconic looking. I don't know. I think, I kind of think this wins. Um, with, with eBay prices, essentially, 
these are more expensive than than these to purchase from the store uh, because these there's a finite number of course there's a finite number of these too but they're available via retail so it's not exactly as hard to get whereas these are promotional where did the lid go there it is <clears throat> So yeah, it's funny because the set would have been exactly the same. I think what they should have done is had two of these type sets and then one like box just for the 35th pin and have a whole other thing. But I think I would have liked that better because this kind of looks weird if you're getting all the same pins. Because like comparatively, you'd think that all the pins would be bigger in here, but they're all the same size. It's just that, you know, that one pin is just colossal. I kind of want to take it out just to, I mean, it's crazy how big it is. I guess, you know, I haven't been collecting the fig pins or whatever that they've come out with, but look at this thing. Huge. It says 1985 to 2020 Nintendo on the back. That is so nice. This pin is... Compared to the other pins is not as nice. The detail kind of gets lost a little bit. Luigi's pants getting pulled down and Bowser's shell and just the little details and stuff kind of get missed. Mario's eyes look a little weird. Peach especially looks weird with the nose. Uh, Toad looks soulless. <laughs> and it's just the way that pins print. On the enamel you can't get when you even though the pin is big the details are small and you can only get such so good a detail on pins so but yeah the presentation is gorgeous so maybe like nine out of ten and ten out of ten so like these would be ten out of ten and then the penny arcade version or penny arcade versions would be 9 out of 10 just because of presentation and these feel a little bit nicer maybe they look a little bit nicer and they don't feel that way but they both kind of feel the same so yeah hopefully you uh, if you're going after these um, I really hope you actually got these because I think this one will be worth more than this one this one was harder to snag but this one also had problems but that big 35th pin that's a big deal um, they haven't really done anything else with that logo merchandise wise yet um, there's still time I guess but it's not it's kind of over I mean they're re pulling everything from the shops and stuff soon which was a weird choice I really liked the new Super Mario or, uh, Super Mario Brothers 35 that was awesome played the heck out of that game and then it's just gonna go poof like they're um i will say their events were bad like there was no real reason that they tried to do like themed things like for halloween they had like a all the night levels were in there and it was just kind of like a, i don't know they could have done a lot better in presentation like having all lakitu's insanity bonanza or something that would have been kind of cool but uh yeah that's the kind of the part two of the video to get a scientific look at the pin comparison because it does it's interesting that they released a, all these pins all at once um so yeah thanks for watching